Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. So you guys know this video is about technology across the board, mainly cybersecurity. But if you guys know me, I come from a network and systems background. So I've gotten some questions over the last couple of weeks, I guess because I've been mentioning stuff like Cisco, CCNA, CCMP, CCIE, all those different kinds of technologies from Cisco systems and people asking how can they get started, which I'm pretty surprised but I wanna go over some things today about differences, different simulations and emulators that I've used and what I recommend. So let's get into the video and have some fun. All right, folks, so the first one I would recommend if you're getting into the world of Cisco, this is called Cisco Packetracia. This is a simulated tool that simulates iOS and simulates routers, switches, and all that stuff. So you can actually Go to cisco.com or you can just go to Google, just put Cisco Packet Tracer and this is free 99. It's super easy to use. You can drag drop different network devices, firewalls, routers, switches, desktops, access points, the whole shebang. And it's pretty, pretty easy, right? So you can download the little course right here. So you can go to view course. Obviously, if you want to, you know, up your skills and you can watch this little video as well. So we can go over, let's make this a little larger so we can see who uses Packet Tracer, right? So you wanna learn network technologies. If you're looking to get into routing and switching or firewalls or networks, this is a cool tool for you. You can learn about networking, IoT, which is Internet of Things. Cybersecurity students use it also. Engineers, educators, and trainers. And then, you know, distant teaching and learning. So say if you just wanna learn different topologies and stuff like that. And I want to name five today. So these are my top five. And these are all ones that I've used personally through my Cisco career. And we'll get into about the third one, but uh, where you can use, you know, different firewalls like Palo Alto, um, Florida Net, and Checkpoint, all that stuff. But this is the first one you would start with. It's super easy. You can get it from the Cisco Academy. And I think I have other videos on my channel if you want to learn about building networks and stuff like that. So, you know, get used to it. You can go ahead and practice building simple and complex networks. And you can also download networks from the internet pre-built, but I would always recommend build it yourself, configure it, IP it, and all that stuff. You can visualize how networks work. You know, you can do trace route, you can do pings, you can do it packet captures and a whole bunch of fun stuff. I haven't used this maybe in about two years. I'm sure it's gotten a lot better since probably the new CCNA as well. You can, you know, integrate Python code. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. It's free to download and you have a community, right? So you can download, get started. You can view different courses, two hours to getting started with Packet Tracer and a whole bunch of different things here. So Let's go to the second one. So the second one is Cisco as well. I use Cisco modeling, Cisco modeling Labs when I did some of my CCNP, when I did my CCNP, CCNP security and all that stuff. What you also have, I wanna bring it here too. Let's go to Google and I wanna bring this back to the third one. So I wanna do Cisco, Cisco Sandbox. So you can go to Cisco Sandbox as well. And that's from like DevNet. So you can see launch Cisco. Let me just wait for a second. And how do I want to log in? I don't want to log in. I guess I'll log in with Google. Uh, whatever. I don't have that. I don't want to log in. But you can see here, you can run code in a live infrastructure with sandboxing. And you can learn totally, totally fun. I was thinking you can learn some fun stuff totally for free. That's what I meant to say. I was just trying to uh, bring this down. So you can you know, go to the environments, you can browse the environments. Let's go ahead and see if we can do that. Can we? Is it just slow? No. All right, so you can come down here, find your sandbox. Like you can do networking, you can do catalyst switches, XR, uh, all those catalysts, uh, iOS, XR, Nexus switches, uh, SD-WAN. So what I did when I was doing CCNA and CCMP security, I was you know, a lot in the security section with firepower, threat defense, and, you know, ASAs and FTDs, you know, I had a lot of ASAs. I did the CCMP a long time ago. So then you have collaboration, the whole shebang, right? So that's a good one as well. 
I just wanted to bring that up. So let's go back to Cisco Modeling Labs. I'm sorry for the for the for the sidetrack here. So Cisco Modeling Labs, you can build a whole bunch of stuff and it's in the cloud or it's in an HTML5 UI. So you can see here how it looks. Let's see, like for example, getting started. I want to see if we have any kind of demonstration. Probably not. And I think it costs about 200 bucks if unless they changed it. Uh, no, I don't want to go here. Let's go back for a second and let's go ahead and see how much it costs. Let's see if we can, how much does this cost? Uh, I believe how to buy. Let's see if they give the man, you have to find a partner now. I thought you can just purchase this when I did it, it was like 200 bucks. Let's just go to Google and just do Cisco CML price. All right. So I think it was like 200 bucks for the personal. Let's see if I can. There we go. Bam. All right. So you can go right to Google, get the price. It's 200 bucks and you can add it to your cart. And this is definitely, definitely, definitely something very, very useful. If you're serious about your Cisco career, I think I would recommend this. Once you're after the, once you're beyond the CCNA level, get Cisco modeling labs and you can utilize, you know, real environments and real Cisco images. So these are, you know, emulators, these are emulating the actual real thing. Okay. So that's the second one or second and a half, right? Because we use sandbox as well. I want to throw that in there. I guess the third one realistically is GNS three. So GNS three, I actually have it on a server here in my house. I actually have some networks built out when I did my CCNP, I did it with EVNG, but we'll get to EVNG when I wanted to build complex networks, GNS three is the best way to, uh, in my opinion, but you can download it for free, right? You can download it right here. There is probably a paid version, or I think the paid version is only for EVNG maybe, but it's free. You know, the software that empowers networks professionals, you can download it and you can see here with the community with the introduction, you can go to a community and how to install it. For example, if you want to do it on VMware or ESXi, if you want to download the VM, you can use this in VMware or VirtualBox and it'll be very, very simple. I think I actually have a video. If not, if you guys want to see a video of me creating and setting up GNS three in VMware, you know, let me know in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to set it up. Super, super simple. I haven't done it in a few years, but I'm sure it's not, not that hard. So if you guys want to see a GNS video, GNS three video, let me know. So that's the fourth one or the third one. Sorry. That's the third one. So the, the fourth one here is EVNG. So you can see EVNG is the emulated virtual environment for network security and DevOps professionals. It probably came a long way from when I used this. I used this around 2000. I think 19, 2020, so about four or five years ago is when I last used my EVNG and we can go to download here. You can go to see the EVNG community edition. Let me make, whoa, let me make it a little smaller. So we have the community editions is, is free 99. You can download this, right? You can download from Google, blah, blah, blah. So you can see that you can get an OVF VM image. So it's about 2.7 gigs or you can come down here and download the ISO. I would recommend if you're using like VMware workstation or VMware ESXi, you're probably going to, if you're going to build out networks, you're probably going to throw this on an actual server. That would be my recommendation than sending this on your desktop or your laptop, especially when you get more complex networks, you're going to be utilizing more resources and you'll, you'll see it uh, bogged down really quick. All right. So that's the free 99. And I believe if I remember correctly, yes, see right here, you can use it in VMware play. I was gonna say if, if I remember correctly, you can actually run it in the free version. So if you want to buy it, let's see how much it is. If you want to buy the, the, um, professional edition, I think it's like 200 bucks as well. I guess it's a little cheaper now. I thought it was 200, but here it's 162. So you can buy this and, and go on your merry way. In my opinion, I wouldn't buy it at first. I would just utilize the free version. And if you, you know, you want to buy it, go ahead and spend your money. But the free version does, does the trick. At least it did for me and I'm sure it will do it for you. So the fifth one here is very, very similar 
to evng it's pnet so it's lab is simple you can download it you can download now and you can go to the store so let's go to the store for an example and you can get different topologies right so i use this as well say for example you're doing uh cc let's do ccmp for example you can do but the thing is you can do juniper that's what i was gonna say with evng and gns3 you can use juniper you can do Palo Alto, you can set up different networks and uh, different uh, vendors, right? So for an example, you want to do, did I type on CCMP? Okay, so say for example, VLANs and trunks. We click this, we can download this lab, right? And when you download the lab, obviously you need to have the application installed. You download it and then you can bring it into your environment and then utilize it, right? So in this one, you have routing, you have Florida, let's see if we can actually look at it. Can we look at these labs? Let's see if we can actually, I don't want to download it though. Um, let's just go back home. I want to see if, uh, let's just go back to the actual, uh, let's get, let's go back to P, dub, dub, dub. Why can't I just go to, let, let's get out of the store. Let's go back to the, all right. So if you wanna, you know, check out some of the labs, you can go to the store, but for example, let's keep coming down here. We can see different kinds of labs here. Obviously this is pretty big. So you can see gateway load balancing, creating VLANs with Ansible. You get the gist, CCNA home lab. So this looks pretty cool. Obviously you can download the CCNA home lab if you're looking to get CCNA. Let's come back here. So let's keep coming down here to the features. So the free one, it's I guess this is all free anyway. I didn't just have to pay for the actual uh, labs. And you can see free lab time, um, the images, Docker integrated. There's, there's a lot of stuff here. And obviously if you're into the networking world, you'll understand this. But let's see, let's come down. You have a total of, you know, over a thousand labs, you know, about half a million people downloaded these labs, about 60,000 users on the platform. So that's pretty sick. And if you need help to install it right here, and it's in English, probably better English than mine. All right. So I think this is it. If you're trying to get into the world of networking, I would definitely recommend a simulator or an emulator. And hopefully this was informative for you guys. Download it, have fun, enjoy it and learn some Cisco, and learn some whatever you're trying to learn, Palo Alto, Juniper, whatever. So thank you so much for viewing. And remember, good luck on your CCNA, CCMP, CCIE, or your Juniper, or whatever you're trying to study. Good luck on your journey. And if you have any questions, let me know.